to YouTube Tech. Pokemon YouTube Tech. Uh, you're going to be in my class. Of course, I'm not even sure if there are any other classes. But yeah. Okay, so uh, I want to talk about the grading system. So here's how it works. So each uh, video, I will do a lesson. And then I will do one comment question. If you uh, do a comment question, you uh, get it correct. So, so, so if you answer it, you get one point. If you get it correct, you get two. And there are also things called exams, where there are ten questions. And then you only... And then that's the same thing. So... So, yeah. So, exams are going to be uh, tw twice a, a school year. And, uh, and tell me if you have any questions. And they'll just be used from all the other videos, and you can also watch the other videos to help. So, today is going to be on Pokeballs. Sorry for the background noise. So, there are, uh, four standard Pokeballs, or what I would like to call standard Pokeballs. So, the first ball is a Pokeball. It has a one times catch rate. So, a Pokeball has one times catch rate. That means... Basically, uh, everything stacks up to it. So I'm going to try to do this. Going to do the right while holding this. So, a uh, great ball has a two times catch rate. I'm not 100% sure about this. That means that it's two times better than a Pokeball. I'm not sure of the Ultra Ball's catch rate, but I know it's better than the great ball. The Pokeball and the great ball. And the Master Ball is a 100 percent guaranteed catch. So, so those are the standard Pokeballs. What do I mean by standards? That means that nothing can change their catch rate. So, Quick Ball is a first term. So, so I'm going to call these the time section. So, there's the standard things, and then the Quick, uh, and then I'm going to put this into a, the time section. So, Quick Ball, it, it, it has a certain catch rate depending on the generation, uh, but it has a really good catch rate on the first turn, but then it's just an, like a normal Pokeball. And then the Timer Ball. The Timer Ball is um, almost a complete opposite. It's mainly used for like the legendary battles. Uh, so the more turns, the better it gets. And then uh, depending on the generation, like... The maximum it can get, and you're gonna have to search more into that. But I w but they're not for ordinary wild battles. And also, I'm guessing the quick ball might be four or five, depending on the generation. Not 100 sure, but uh, 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 the time timer ball. Uh, that I'd recommend using it on legendaries, since uh they take longer to like uh do like status conditions and stuff like that. It holds the perfect time. So that's the time section. Quick ball. The first turn. The quick ball is the strongest the first turn. So, uh, these, these are not the only ones, but these are the ones I can come up with the, on the top of my head about different types. Of. So, like, these, uh, do better against certain types. So, if you're, like, on a water route or in the forest, this ball would be a good ball. It's a 3 times, 3.5 times better than a Pokeball on bug and water types. But dive ball, uh, is a 4 times water, 4 times better than regular Pokeball. And then water type. And it can be diving, uh, diving will only be used in the home games. And surfing and fishing and others. So, that's about it on Pokeballs. You could do some more research if you want to, if you're really interested in the Pokeballs. But now for the question, the comment question. Turn is the quick ball the strongest? So, answer that in the comments. I'm going to be putting it in the description. So, uh, good luck in school.